hey kids, have you thrown up today? Um, because I just did. Uh, I just saw a really disgusting fucking video. And you guys, you guys want to see this video with me? Yeah, I'll tell you, it's YouTube friendly. In fact, uh, American YouTube is probably actually pushing for uh, something like this to be aired. In fact, uh, you know, they're probably getting funding for this disgusting video to be shown. Uh, and I'm just going to pull it up right now. Yeah, the U.S. Army has an esports team. Okay, you know, that's fine. You know, maybe the U.S. Army is just finally funding esports, and we're actually, like, esports is getting some cool... Hey, look, guys, we're we're uh, we're realizing that video games are uh, an important thing to the Americans right now in our trying times, because, uh, you know, a lot of people are stuck at home right now. What the fuck are you doing? You're playing video games. So let's see what the U.S. Army has uh, to say about its brand new esports team. So, you're probably wondering to yourself, the U.S. Army has an esports program? Why? And how do I join? The U I'll tell you, I was not wondering how I joined the U.S. Army esports team, because that sounds like, hey, I'm going to join the Army, uh, and that's not a good thing. The U.S. Army esports program is a recruiting outreach tool to help... It's a recruiting outreach tool. It literally, they literally just said that they're taking people who play video games good, which I'm going to say it, generally larger men, as we can see from this guy. Does he, does he look like he's the strongest, most fit person ever? No. This guy looks fat as fuck. All right? Now, I, I know he could beat, beat my fucking face in, but he's, he's quite the chonker, if I do say so myself. And that's not just he put a pillow in or whatever. It's so, uh, and even that guy in the background right there dressed as like, what, uh, kick, kick puncher? Uh, dude, I don't know, it's one of those Street Fighter characters. They're, they're chonky. All of the, all of the people here are fucking humongous, and they're thinking, oh, hey, look at those kids in the background. Hey, kids, you want to try and, uh, recreate the No Gun Re Massacre? Um, oh, what's this, Tachanka here? Yeah, he, he looks Russian. You know who the Russians don't like? The Russians don't like the Vietnamese, and you know what? Let's hey hey, how would you, Tachanka? Why don't you come down and we can do the um, My Lee massacre? Uh, you know, it could could be a great time, and we can just you know commit a few war crimes. It'll be great, kids. Come on, join our join our team. We have Fortnite. Uh, speaking of which, they have a lot of video games. Uh, I'm gonna get kind of pissed about the army connect with the fast growing esports audience. Sixty percent of Americans play video games daily. Video games are a way for players to connect with each other, build teamwork, and hone in problem-solving skills. Yeah. I, that's, yeah. You know what it doesn't do, though? Uh, make you strong? I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm fucking lanky, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking lanky Mario, Mario, lanky Kong, or whatever, I don't know, dude. I, I, and I, I play video games, I play Osu, my fingers can go <laughs> on the keys, and I actually have my keypad right here, I would press the buttons, but it's just gonna out of the video or something like that i you know my fingers can move fast but you know what in a gunfight that is not going to help anyone and in fact if i was on the fucking battlefield goddamn uh america say goodbye uh you know if you put half the people on my fucking steam friends list on the goddamn battlefield everyone is fucking dead uh i don't know why you're trying to reach out to gamers why don't you just keep doing what you're doing flip your chairs around backwards and go hey kids we're just like you and it's just you in the army translatable skills in today's army. Aside from recruiting, the U.S. Army esports program is comprised of soldiers that share the same passion for video games and esports. Just Look guys, we're just like you. We're soldiers and we love video games. Look at that guy right there. Look how fucking soulless he looks. He does not look happy at all throughout this entire Fortnite clip. And I don't play Fortnite. I don't know if this is like something super cool he's pulling off or maybe this is just some fucking normie strategy. He doesn't look happy at all. He does not. To everyone else in the world. Jake, he's fucking shouting in the goddamn clip. What the fuck? And oh, you're trying to connect to everybody in the goddamn world? Are you kidding me? You're the U.S. Army. That is not how the American Army works. I'll tell you that. They fucking reject people who do fucking, like, they're not from America and shit like that. It fucking blows my mind how retarded this, these people are. For some, it's a way to unwind. For others, it's a way to compete, come out on top, and show they have skills superior to us. And uh, for us, it's a way to hype everybody up so we can commit 
the Rye Meadow Camp atrocities. That's right, everybody. It's for us to show how many Rye Meadow atrocities we can commit. Others, and that is where competition comes in. So, how do you get started? Well, yeah, I don't know what was up with this audio there either. Discord, hold on. This is the thing. I'm gonna put it on screen right now. Um, I'll talk about it in a bit. But they did like talk to Discord like, when is Big Wampus plushie? Do you fucking think the commander of the goddamn army is going to be the guy who just tweeted out, where is Big Wumpus? I want Big Wumpus. Big Wumpus. No. And he's going to beat your ass if you even say the word Wumpus, because he probably thinks it's a derogatory term, and you can't bring down people like that in the army. You have to be a single unit. It all starts on our verified Discord server, discord.gg forward slash US Army Esports. It's open for anyone to jump in and play in our ever-growing community. Yeah, it's, it's open for everybody. Just uh, hop in, you know. It just you know, you just enlist into the U.S. Army Discord server. Uh, we call it enlisting. Just, just a little quirky, fun way of, you know, hey guys, uh, we're the U.S. Army, and yeah, we're pretty cool. We're, we're really cool. Um, anyways, get enlist into the uh, U.S. Army, uh, and yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great, kids. Come on. You know, you guys like Call of Duty. You want to actually, you want to commit some Call of Duty? Yeah, let's let's make like Nuketown on fucking Korea. In this community, there are some key games that are built around a competitive structure. Managers of these games assess talent through community play, tournaments, and formal tryouts. Those that rise to the top have the opportunity to represent the U.S. Army esports team abroad at tournaments and conventions. Okay, so, you know, like, uh, that's, uh, this is some basic shit, you know, well, like, what the hell, um, hey, it's an esports team, that's kind of what they do, um, but am I not the only one who finds it kind of scummy that the U.S. Army is going into other countries under the guise that it's an esports team? Remember the last time the U.S. Army went undercover to go and, like, do something to help another country or something like that? They were, it was fucking like, they were trying to find uh, Bin Laden in Al-Qaeda, and they pretended like they were going to give free hepatitis shots. You go in, they give you the first shot, and then, heck, come back in about a week, and they'll give you the second shot. But on each needle, they would test the DNA to see if they could find Bin Laden hiding out somewhere. They'd give the first shot. When they couldn't find Bin Laden, they'd move to the next fucking town. Yeah, if that isn't scummy as fuck, I don't know what is. Also, these this game selection here, Fortnite, Smash Bros. I get it. You know, those are like whatever. That's the, you know, but that that is the the hello children. We are cool as well. Fucking Smash Bros. is a children's game. Fucking Sakurai and his friends who made this game. Do you think they're gonna be happy that? Oh my gosh, the U.S. Army. They're playing our game as a recruitment tool. And yeah, this is a fucking recruitment tool. We'll get to that later. And. Also, why didn't they add Smash Bros. to fighting games? Uh, is it because it's more popular than fighting games? And if they don't specify what fighting games, uh, am I supposed to become the top number one in the world U.S. Army Skullgirls player? Yeah. yeah does, does that mean that because Skullgirls is a fighting game? Or is that too girly? You know, you can't play Skullgirls in the U.S. Army. <laughs> you know? While not all games are based out of Fort Knox, great opportunities still exist to compete under the U.S. Army esports team while at large. Keep in mind, official team slots are currently open to active duty and Army Reserve soldiers only. So if you guys actually want to get in on this, we can, we can you know, uh, recruit you to the U.S. Army esports team. But uh, you actually have to be recruited to the U.S. Army to get to play in the esports team. Because, you know... Uh, the army is just, we just all that just going out to like uh, Iraq, uh, Canada, uh, Mexico, uh, you know, literally any other country that hates us right now, which is literally everywhere. And, you know, we, we go out there with our epic gaming PCs and we just play video games. That's what the army is really about. You know, really, what do, what do you think we did with the women in the Motoba Peninsula in uh, Japan? I think, uh, fuck. Yeah, it's Japan. I, I checked. What do you think we do with the women in the Matuba Peninsula? You know, we, we, we sit them down for an epic game of Smash Bros. And, hey, they just got pregnant because hot diggity damn. That one cat Pokemon do be looking kind of thick. And it, it is not our fault that they all got raped uh, by the video game cat, of course. So, now that you got the rundown, guess we'll see you online. Do you have what it takes? Good luck. Also, I don't like the idea of, do you have what it takes? Like, dude, 
are you retarded? That's fucking peer pressure. You know who that works on? Children. Again, this is... They are, they are targeting children to get hopped into the U.S. Army. Here, let's see what some of the replies are. Platinum player in Overwatch, welcome. Uh, so only active armies can, can join, right? Yeah. Uh, what's the response to this? Well, I can't see the response. Active duty in reserve currently. Sounds great. Can't wait to apply. So because they, now they suddenly have uh, an Overwatch team, I'm going to join the army because uh, they have an Overwatch team now. It sounds great. Sounds great, guys. Sounds great. Also, apparently people on their Discord server have been posting the um, the Wikipedia I was just using to find out all of the uh, war crimes America's committed. You know, it's not that difficult to go and find all the war crimes. You just click the button, you look it up. Okay, here we go. U.S. Army Esports. A giant plum up his plushy win. How giant is giant? Snorlax giant. And they pick a picture of this. This is like the guy who took this picture is not currently in the army or he's not currently like he 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 would not be currently uh like in an army base or something like that this would just not fucking fly there you can't have a giant plushie unless you like, take away your fucking bed and then now suddenly you have this these two plushies there's your pillow and your mattress idiot um and then we'll ask the merch store boss lady ooh ooh Dude, the fucking U.S. Army just pulled an ooh woo. Who aren't they shooting for? Well, you know, aside from Vietnam, <laughs> or mostly Vietnam. But they 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 used a fucking ooh woo. Now I I'm gonna be honest here. I don't care if you ironically or unironically use the ooh woo. But as soon as you're using it to try and get like fucking anybody into the goddamn army for no fucking reason at all like dude the fuck the people you're trying to go after like you know the people who like the small fuzzy animals or whatever like they're not the kind of person who just go out with a gun and kill people even if they're uh, opposing the american forces or whatever they're the kind of people who'd be like, well, I'd rather stay at home. I'd rather, I'd rather pet some animals. They, they're they not the kind of person who'd fucking pick up a gun and shoot it at all. You know, I'm sure there's like a couple outliers. And, you know, the only reason they're going after them is because they wear those big, heavy fucking suits. Oh, they can, they can, they can strap a couple of uh, ammo and mags on there, give them a hat. They're all, they're all ready to go. I don't know. This is, this is fucking retarded. So, again, I guess this answers the question. What are my stances in the U.S. Army? Uh, I don't like their recruitment tactics. They're trying to manipulate people into joining the army. And that that's not cool, alright? Because if somebody was going to join the army to join the army, then you don't need this fucking esports team. I say scrap the esports team. This is a retarded idea. I don't like it. If like whoever's running the esports team really wanted to make an esports team instead of recruitment material make a fucking American esports team. It doesn't have to be part of the army. I don't know. That's fucking retarded. I'm gonna go edit this now. See you, dudes.